All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. Well, this is one intimidating fighter making the walk here tonight. No denying what the game plan is going to be, Joe. He's going to try to shoot in on the legs, get his opponent down, and employ some of the more nasty ground and pound that we have seen in the UFC really in years. Very strong at maintaining the top position. Devastating out of the side mount as well. But top position, nasty punches, elbows from inside the guard. This guy, as good a ground and pound guy as we've seen in years, figures to be a big challenge for the opposition tonight. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to the mat time and time again has proven to be one of the most effective tools in his arsenal. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and the same reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A free saw fighter holding a professional record out. 13 wins, one loss. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Paloma, Merced, Wrestler holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Josh Emmett. And with the answer begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are right, you ready? You ready? Well, what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, what a jab. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Trying to establish that jab once again. Takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lands flush again. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Bechtick gets double underhooks now. Nice punch in the clinch. And they separate. Oh, Hit him hard with that hook. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh, straight right. Nasty combination. Oh, and he connects there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And he's in north-south position. Looking for the north-south choke. That choke looks locked up tight. He got it out of that choke. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. He's tagging him here. 
Yeah, and here he goes again. Taking down by Beck. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Changes his stance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? And he che he's checking every single one of those. That one hurt. Now a level change. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Caught him with a punch. Oh, Huge shot with the hook. Lands right to the target, Joe. Big straight punch. He hit him again with the hook. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh! He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Snapped off the jab nicely there. Big punches here. Very nice leg kick there by Beckton. Oh, big shots. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Oh, good combination. Whips on the straight right. Landing some shots. Nope, can't get it again. Beckton's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate, but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, that right hand hurt Oh! Huge shot! Whoa! The kick lands, and he's down! And he's that's gonna do it! A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And let's look at that from a different camera. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Hey, all right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Charles! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.